The task inspector is really an interesting tool. I use it to solve over allocations. And when I'm dealing with complex projects with a lot of tasks, I use it to get information about tasks like predecessors. It's Christian from Vision 6D and we are going to dig into the task inspector. This project is the development of the electronic part of a PTZ camera. I had the opportunity to work into this project and it was really something interesting. We see that we have the requirement phase that is at the beginning, then it's followed by a design phase, followed by development. In parallel, we have tests which are ready and prepared and performed and we have at the end the documentation which is performed by the tech writer. We then see that the tech writer is having over allocation and this is signaled by the man in red. First of all I select the task I want to analyze. There are several ways to go into the task inspector. Here I am into the, the task part and there is a button which is called inspect. Select it and then inspect task. So you see that uh, we have the defined task and then after in red we have the information that there is a resource in over allocation and the resource is named, it's the tech writer. We have then two buttons on which we can take action. The first one is to take a direct action over the over allocation in order to solve it. And the way it's that it will postpone the task to the next availability of the resource tech writer. The second button is here to allow me to enter directly into the team planner. I have after also some additional information that are interesting when you want to solve over allocation like the predecessor of this task and we see in that case that there is a lag of 10 days. I will now give a look to the predecessor for this I go down and I click on the predecessor here I can find the information about that predecessor among which we see that this task is using a standard calendar and I can go back to our over allocated task. I will now choose to select the first button. For this we have to watch closely what's going to happen with the task in blue for the tech writer. I click on the button and we see that the task has been completely moved to the next availability from tech writer. You have certainly noticed also that the end date of the project has been moved. We also see that the over allocation has disappeared and the man in red for that line has disappeared. To solve the other over allocation, I've selected the, the next over allocated tax and I'm going to use the right click on the, the task itself. In this way, I can also access to the task inspector and here inside, I'm going to use the second button to access the team planner. After that I selected the task test documentation, I'm going now to move to the next availability of this resource by using the button. Now we can see that the three tasks don't have any more over allocation. They have been moved one after the other one. And there is here an information that is the leveling delay is by 56 E days. E days are days where Microsoft project is not counting any work hour. Returning to the Gantt chart, we see that the tasks have been moved. Notice also that the end date of the project has also been moved. 
Solving over allocations with the task inspector is really simple. The task inspector is going to move your task to the next availability of a resource. When you have complex projects with a lot of tasks and dependency, it's not always easy to predict what's going to happen. So I recommend to use this tool with a certain caution. It's Christian from Vision 6D, and for me, it's always a pleasure to share knowledge with you. Hope you are well. See you soon. Bye-bye.